Here's a little demo for my uh, icosahedron globe project. So I uh, recently put this together. It's made from uh, laser cut wooden triangles with the uh, map burned on and then holes drilled out to show the cities that Maria and I visited on our most recent trip, which was last year now. So right now the uh, globe has a uh, ESP8266 controller inside, which is running the WLED um, open source uh, light control software. That's a great open source project that basically handles all of the, uh, the basic uh, functionality to have a, a light system that you want to uh, put onto your uh, LAN. Uh, right now it's just running one of the many patterns that the system has, and uh, I can, you know, pretty easily switch to any of these uh, different light uh, displays and the globe will uh, show those patterns. Now for the custom functionality that I added, I created a custom page which actually will show the uh, world map. So this is actually controlled by the orientation of the globe. So right now it's decided that you're interested in New York and it'll go through the uh, photos that we took here and uh, zoom and pan between them just on an automated uh, gallery sort of view. So the way that it's controlled is that you can rotate the globe to a different face and the uh, map will then zoom over to where you're going. To select the different cities on that face, you can then just rotate the globe, and that motion causes it to switch which city you're currently looking at. So, to head over to Tahiti, and it'll uh, continue with the gallery. So the control actually works the other way as well. So to go to a face where we can uh, see a little bit more. So right now it's. Uh, selected uh, the Katba Islands, I believe. Um, but if instead I use the mouse on Google Maps and I navigate to New Zealand. All right. There we are. So to Auckland, you can see that the light lights up there and the uh, map on the web page will cycle through those photos until a uh, until the globe detects that it's being moved again and at which point it will return control to uh, the face that's uh, face up. So um, once this exits it will leave the uh, globe in a sort of a idle state where a little LED will just travel along the uh, path that we uh, took while we were traveling. So in addition to the software functionality, made a little stand for the globe. And uh, to give it power, right now it's working off an internal USB power supply. And this USB power supply can be plugged in and still close up so it can be have a, a power cable when it's in its little stand. Or right now, it's uh, sort of just set to be uh, wireless. And uh, if for whatever reason I wanted to circumvent the uh, battery, I could just connect directly to the uh, controller and just have the battery uh, disconnected. 